Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm here to spill some more tea, and once again, honey, the Pissy Pie Piper is trending all over social media. So this situation is crazy, but before I get to the Pissy Pie Piper, I just want to remind you guys that we have more products available. The Strawberry Green Tea is available on Amazon once again, and also the CBD Honey Sticks are back in availability. So if you guys are interested in getting some, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net to cop your honey sticks and to get your choice of tea, so that way you can always be sipping with me slow. Okay. So anyways, back to the whole R. Kelly debacle. Now, like I've been telling y'all, I've been covering all this R. Kelly bullshit for years, okay? Before it became trendy, before it became viral, I was blasting this man years ago. And since then, I've been keeping up with this story. I don't get paid for any of these damn R. Kelly videos. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and buy that damn tea, okay? Because all of this shit will be demonetized because YouTube is literally not monetizing barely any of our videos anymore that, you know, that hit on really serious topics. So anyhow... What's going down now is everything I've said months ago is coming to pass. I told you guys the swamp was being drained and the reason why all these people were talking and trying to write books and tell their side was because they're all just as guilty as R. Kelly, okay? So what went down is this. So R. Kelly got rearrested for like 20 more felony charges of child pornography and porn and all types of crazy stuff. R. Kelly is under arrest tonight, surrounded while walking his dog. This time he's behind bars on federal charges. Authorities arresting him on federal sex crimes charges in Chicago and New York. What he's accused of now, and here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. The man known for the chart-topping song, I Believe I Can Fly, is back behind bars tonight. The embattled R&B singer R. Kelly was picked up in Chicago on two separate federal indictments Thursday night while out walking his Pomeranian. One is a five-count indictment out of New York, charging the singer with racketeering, alleging he was the leader of an enterprise made up of individuals who would recruit women and girls to engage in illegal sexual activity with Kelly, arranging for them to travel to concerts throughout the United States. According to the indictment, as alleged, he's a predator. The other, a 13-count indictment out of Chicago, charges Kelly with child pornography, enticement of a minor, and obstruction of justice, accusing him and a former manager in one case of paying a minor approximately a quarter of a million dollars to return a videotape depicting Kelly engaged in sexual contact with minors. Hold up a sec. Oh, oh. A representative for Kelly was interrupted today by the family of Joyce Lynn Savage. Her parents say she's been brainwashed by Kelly and living with him against her own will. This latest arrest comes near Nearly five months after the 52 year old was released on bail for more than a dozen sexual abuse charges brought shortly after the explosive Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. The series profiled multiple women accusing the singer of abusive behavior and sexual misconduct. Kelly has long denied all accusations of sexual misconduct and claimed his innocence in March on CBS This Morning. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. Kelly's attorney maintains these cases are all old allegations, and he says that he hasn't seen any new evidence against his client. The singer is expected to remain in Chicago until authorities seek to have him extradited here to New York. He'll spend the weekend in federal lockup, David. So the very next day, R. Kelly's crisis manager, he was up there talking about the situation, and all of a sudden, Tim Attention Horse Savage, he runs up there, and he calls himself trying to interrupt the interview, and he's saying, where's my daughter? Find my daughter. Just all this attention horn bullshit that I've been calling out. Y'all go ahead and watch this video and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. He was arrested. Uh, nothing new. The same charges a decade ago. Oh, you're all in, bro. The Where's same, my daughter? The same charges he had before. is in there right now in jail. I want to know where my daughter is. Where is she at? Answer that question. Miss Kelly was arrested yesterday. Answer that question. Uh, walking his dog no. yesterday. Move. After he walked his dog, uh, he was arrested. Uh, the Northern District of uh, Illinois and the um, Eastern District of um, New York. Um, he's um, he's in Cook County right now. He's been held. Um, he's probably going to be arranged sometime today. We had some communication. We did. Uh, it didn't work out. So, you know, I'm going to speak to this father. He's very angry. I understand why he's angry. He shouldn't be angry. 
I'm going to speak to him. We're going to have a conversation. I'm not going to run from him. I'm not here to run from anybody. I'm not going to hide up in nowhere, no building, nowhere. I'm a free man. I'll talk to him. So you guys don't have any more questions. I do. How concerned are you that you could possibly face charges? Honey. Okay, Mr. Tim Savage, while you're steadily screaming in every other interview, where's your daughter? You want your daughter? Let me ask you this. Why did you allow R. Kelly even to be around your daughter? Okay, you literally had no problem with your daughter being a part of R. Kelly's entourage as long as the gifts and the checks and everything else were coming in. And then once that stopped, now all these parents are victims. Now none of these parents knew nothing. You know what I'm saying? R. Kelly has been arrested twice. And both times your daughter has chosen not to go back home. So that says a lot about the situation. At the end of the day, Joycelyn is grown. And if she wants to stay and be one of R. Kelly's many girlfriends, that's on her. You know what I'm saying? We're not dealing with a 16 year old child. When she ran off with R. Kelly, she was grown at that point. You know what I'm saying? And as a parent, you should have never allowed your child to even be around R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? But again, they were chasing fame. They were chasing fortune. They thought R. Kelly was gonna be able to put on their daughter and all R. Kelly did was basically have sex with their damn child and now they're feeling guilty about it so they're going on this hobo media tour you know what i'm saying looking for sympathy and payola and I, I just don't feel bad for them at this point it's starting to be a bit damn much okay who is april who is april who is april who is april who is why do we keep talking about Kelly. Yeah. R. Kelly made you have sex with another no, girl. No, nobody made me have sex with him. No, so how did happen? Did you want to have sex with him? Oh did you want to have sex with the girl? No, it was just at the moment. Nobody it was at the moment because R. Kelly made you have sex with the girl. That's why. You had who sex is with April? The girl. Hold on, hold on. What happened? What you mean, R. Kelly wanted you to have sex? No, I no. I'm saying at the moment that was it was at the time, but I it was just a one time thing. That's he had sex with her too. What do you mean? I was. R. Kelly had sex with her too. How is Drea helping? Drea's not helping. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. You want me to lie? She's not helping. She, she, uh, I mean, she's not right now. I mean, she's done a little bit, but she need to continue. She need to go to the authorities and tell him he's $197,000 back in child support. That'll get him in jail right today. But that ain't happening. How's your relationship with Michelle Kramer? She blocked me on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> yeah, Michelle. We don't have no no feelings or no right. pump, no no. I mean, we these guys are taking it too personal. We not taking it personal. We taking it to a point where we got to get these girls out on the deal, and uh, that's the reason why we won't give up on Joyce. We love her. I know I do. Yeah, we love her. Yeah, I love, I love all it. three girls very much. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not controlling guys. I'm passionate about my daughter. It's a good, good, good uh, head of household. It's me. I would love to do the round table with Jay. Um, Lisa Van Allen did that. And she did a she did yeah. a pretty good job. I would love to do it. I mean, I think it would be. We emotional. just did Dateline. Um, yeah, yeah, it would air what Friday. Yeah, Friday. Go get some psychic help. One or the other, but get him some help. I don't want to get from nobody down already. And he, he wanted to go to Yana fix yeah, my we life. We would have loved to went on to Yana. She's already turned to I now. loved it. I would have yeah. loved to be on there. They might have had a couple security guards, but we would have loved to be on there. And so anyways, after the interruption from Mr. Tim Savage, um, it came out that six of R. Kelly's entourage members were the ones who handed the tapes over to the FBI showing R. Kelly engaged in child porn. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this article. Y'all go ahead and check this out. The men who journalists described as enablers were the ones to give the videotape and other incriminating evidence to authorities amid the R amid R. Kelly's very public tumultuous fallout. Reportedly, his inner circle gave many videotapes of the singer having sex with underage girls. Daryl Grigg and federal law enforcement sources said that there's approximately 20 different incriminating tapes. Mr. Grigg, who is a lawyer for one of R. Kelly's supposed victims, claims members of R. Kelly's friend group chose to rescind on their previous loyalty. This past Thursday, the NYPD and federal officers arrested R. Kelly in Chicago on a 13-count indictment, which includes child sex charges. Federal and state officials used the aforementioned videotapes to build an extensive case on R. Kelly. Kelly has been taken to NYC to face the allegations. 
Court documents claim that Kelly made sex tapes with girls who were either 12 or 13 at the time, many of whom he met in the 90s. Honey. So like I've always said, the rabbit hole goes deep. Of course there were so many people involved. I've been saying that from day one. This man can't read. He can't write. He don't know arithmetic. So who the hell was booking these flights for him? Who was booking these hotels? Who was helping him? He had a lot of people helping him. Like I've always stated, yes, there are real R. Kelly victims and I stand by that. But there are a lot of fucking clout chasers. There's a lot of people who are involved in this situation who knew it was going down and they chose to look the other way. They also chose to be one of his enablers. They were also out here recruiting girls for R. Kelly's. Some of those girls that were in the Surviving R. Kelly documentary to me are not victims, point blank period. When your ass is in your 30s and you know well about R. Kelly's history and you go to be a kept woman, you're no longer a victim to me, okay? Because R. Kelly couldn't call me in 2019 and say, hey, T, I'm feeling you. Fly to Chicago and just be one of my girlfriends. I'm going to be like, you got me fucked up. I know about your history and I'm good. But a lot of these women, they didn't care. And a lot of them chose to recruit other girls and make other young girls victims as well. So my thing is this. If R. Kelly's going down, everyone needs to go down. The, the enablers, the recruiters. Recruiters, the other females who were bringing in other females to be R. Kelly's girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Even that old ass man I had blasted a few months ago who was, you know, who was bragging about his whole tell-all book. And he says that he was there when R. Kelly married Ali and he knew it was wrong. You know, but now the son, he done found God and he's trying to distance himself. But to me, you're just as guilty. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And in order to get married, she had to lie about her age. And he is saying that he had no idea. No idea. After he married Aaliyah, I did get the license. I did that. I didn't forge it myself, but I, I, I walked her into places that gave her IDs. And I did that because Robert was uh, told that he had to do this to save himself from jail. Uh, I'd been with him from 85 to 95, and because of that, I, 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 I stood in the gap to help him for that moment. Uh, it was supposed to fix things. It was supposed to change things. It was, it was supposed to give him a, a reality check because that's when it first started. That's when it happened in my sight. Uh, coming up in the Kenwood days, uh, watching him play with uh, Tiffany Hawkins and uh, the Javantes. And, uh, uh, they were kids. They, there was no sexual activity. And, it was the beginning, so nothing was really happening. It didn't happen until after he got in. It was the beginning, so nothing was really happening. It didn't happen until after he got his deal. All right, so y'all just saw what that old man had to say. So like I said, even when that old couple found that, you know, the supposed sex tape in their attic, I wasn't buying it. I know there are a lot of sex tapes out here, and a lot of people had them. VHSs just don't pop up out the blue, okay? So a lot of folks knew it was going down, and now that, you know, it's getting serious, and it looks like R. Kelly's gonna go do some serious time, everyone's trying to jump ship, everybody's trying to play victim, you know, Drea Kelly included, everybody, you know, nobody saw nothing, nobody heard nothing, you know what I'm saying, R. Kelly just slipped, poured under the door to Drea, she knew nothing, you know, I'm not buying any of this shit, okay? And especially with the parents, your job as a parent first and foremost is to protect your child okay there is an interview that Matthew Knowles did not too long ago they were asking about the one time that R. Kelly and Destiny's Child worked together and in that interview Matthew Knowles made it clear that even though the daughters were there Destiny's Child was there to work with R. Kelly none of the girls left his site or Tina Knowles's site even if they had to use a bathroom Tina Knowles was with these girls every step of the way that is what a parent does you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day we're not going to deny his musical ability okay R. Kelly is a musical genius, okay? Point blank, period. When his music comes on at any local, you know, reunion, barbecue, folks are ready to two-step, slide, and everything else, okay? I believe I'm a freak. I believe I'm obsessed with teens. I think about them every night and day. Fuck your teen, then throw her away when she becomes of age. I believe I'm a freak. Yes, that is the remix, okay? When an R. Kelly song comes on, regardless of it's some shit I just made up off the top of my head or a regular R. Kelly song, folks are gonna sing, dance, and two-step to all of R. Kelly's music. Let's let's keep this shit real. People are still dancing right now at a at a random barbecue to happy people. 
So with that being said, I understood why Matthew Knowles took Destiny's Child to go work on a record with R. Kelly because R. Kelly, you know, at that time was seen as a musical genius, a corrupted genius, but a musical genius nonetheless. So this is what the article says. Go ahead and check this out. So Matthew Knowles says this was around 1998. We had just begun to hear some of these things, he said. I was there and my former wife Tina was there. When they went to the bathroom, Tina would go with them. They did not leave our eyes. The thing with R. Kelly was he liked to record late at night around midnight. And what was different with his studio was one room was a recording suite and next door was a club with 40 or 50 people dancing. In the end, Knowles decided against the group continuing to work with the R&B singer. I personally rejected the song because I didn't think it was a good song, Knowles said. And R. Kelly wasn't cheap. It was 75000 plus travel costs. So we're talking about hundred grand for a song. Knowles said the allegations surrounding R. Kelly also played a part in his decision to reject the producer's song. So again, that is what Matthew Knowles is saying. That as a parent, you know, they went, they went to go meet with him. You know, they worked on a track. But, you know, he just felt something wasn't right. So he severed all ties with R. Kelly. And that's what a parent does. You don't sit there and bring your daughter to the lion's den and then introduce her to a manipulative person like R. Kelly. And then when your daughter gets manipulated, you know what I'm saying, and ends up running off with R. Kelly, now you're the victim. Why did you take your child there and just leave your child there in the first damn place? Another thing that also bothers me and shows that a lot of these parents knew what was going on and they were okay with it, and I know a lot of these parents were complacent and they were cool with what he was doing because remember Aaliyah's mother's response to the documentary was for her to go off and was basically defending R. Kelly. So this whole situation is crazy like I've always said the rabbit hole goes deep and there's going to be a lot more people you know what I'm saying probably going to be arrested behind all of this because again I don't buy any of these people you know these yes men as being innocent because they kept these tapes for 20 years it wasn't until the heat got too hot in the kitchen that they're now trying to spill tea and send tapes to the prosecutors and basically trying to minimize their own fault in the situation there was a lot of people who were guilty. A lot of people stood by. They knew what R. Kelly was about. They knew what he was on. But as long as they were getting checks, as long as they were able to travel and be seen with R. Kelly and get some type of fame and notoriety, they did not care. A lot of these parents were cool with their daughters being abused as long as R. Kelly was cutting a check, taking them on vacations, looking out for their daughters. So, you know, the whole situation is really sad, but there's a lot of guilty people in this case besides R. Kelly. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning R. Kelly and all of this information coming out and him being arrested and indicted on 13 felony charges of child pornography. Do you agree with me that there are many people involved in this situation that are just as guilty as R. Kelly? Or do you feel like only R. Kelly should be blamed for this situation? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.